In Creator 19, we've made great improvements to performance, productivity, and tool enhancement. One enhancement we are quite proud of is the Selection Sets. This feature lets you save any selected items that are saved with the model, then recall them at any time by selecting them in this list, even vertices. Another notable performance enhancement is the use of the Move tool assigned to hotkeys. We now have the Move tool automatically assigned to the WQE keys in our tools. You can see here that the handles, which used to be very cumbersome, have been simplified to show only the ones that you have executed. So when we press W, the Move tool shows all the move handles, but not the rotate ones. When E is pressed, we get the rotate handles, and with R, we get the scale handles. And also, the N tool has been mapped to the Q key, so this QWER combination is similar to the default mapping for many other software tools. For the performance enhancements, we've addressed some of the key bottlenecks. Loading models in open flights is quite fast. However, there were issues with regard to textures. We've now added an option to clamp texture resolution to a predefined size. This enhancement allows you to load models that use lots of really large textures without impacting load times. Another common obstacle we've heard from users is the geometry bottleneck. To address this, we have added a new option called Optimize Database Rendering. This option is selected to maintain a separate mesh hierarchy for rendering base purposes. This renders blazingly fast compared to previous versions. Another notable tool enhancement is what we accomplished for the Building Wizard. The Building Wizard has always been able to generate good-looking geometry, but it was sometimes challenging to get roof clutter the way you wanted it. In this release, we added many options for roof clutter that allow you to achieve exactly what you want. As you can see here, the options available in the dialog box are much more extensive, giving you a great deal of power. One of the key features we added was the ability to have multiple placement rules. Whereas previously you were limited to one model that could be placed in very limited ways, now you can place multiple models at the same time, and you can place them in a much more controlled manner. In this example, you see here a grid of AC units. Right away, we can combine this with other model placements, such as this billboard that we can place along an edge. A really useful feature is how you can now map clutter models to subtextures and even on the walls. This works for the side walls, the front walls, and the roof. This added functionality works by defining named subtexture regions. The tool then automatically loads these and puts them inside of this list. Arranging some textures in this way and specifying important details of the texture not only gives you great looking buildings, but also gives us the opportunity to improve another common problem with building wizard buildings. As many of you know, it is sometimes difficult to get textures to map to where there is no problem with them. For example, in this model, you can see that it is mapped using real-world size. This mapping mechanism gives you absolutely zero squash and stretch, which, although it preserves your texture's original look, it has its own issues. Here, you can see the corner of the building where the texture wraps around in an odd way, such as a window placed in the corner. In previous versions, you could use a nearest option, which would resolve this problem. However, the nearest option added a large amount of squash and stretch, which could also be undesirable. So, in Creator 19, we've added a new option called 
nearest subtexture. With this new option, the squash and stretch is highly minimized, and the wrapping around corners is also addressed. This provides really nice looking buildings as long as you set up the subtextures inside of your texture.